Okay, uh, remember I said the tilt was going to break? <laughs> I always seem to predict these. When I say a tree's going to break, it always has to prove me right sooner than I expect, too. I figured it would break probably within, you know, maybe a week or so. You know, if we kept getting wind, moving it around in there. But it was lodged into, you know, a fork there sitting right in a crotch, right in the middle like that. I can't really do it and hold the phone, but it was lodged right between, you know, a crotch right there. There was another branch coming up here and the whole collar broke off. It just let go. So, yeah, the tulip, it's a, it's a very soft hardwood and it's brittle. And so the elm tree is now the one that we saw the Widowmaker is no longer a Widowmaker, so that's good. However, the lodged piece is still, the, the top there is still broken, hanging in that, that mess of vines there. But the elm is way down the hill, and I, I misjudged the distance down there. I haven't been down there in years. <laughs> um, it's my property, but I don't really go down there because it's just rocks and a steep mountain. Um, but it's really steep down there, and so it's probably, the, the stump of the elm was probably about 20, 20 to 25 feet. And the, because uh, it goes way down there. The, the top of that elm I can barely see now. It slid all the way. Once it broke, it just kind of crashed into the side of the tulip and slid down, straight down the mountain. So you can see the trunk. It's, um... It's laying diagonally like this, right there, but I don't, I don't see it here on the video. There it is, right there. See it? Right in the center. Right there. Anyway, the elm tree came down and the tulip broke like I predicted 10 minutes ago. that with a stick.